Georgia voters are currently enacting the necessary proceedings to stop Marjorie Taylor Greene from being able to run for re-election to Congress. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Rashad Crenshaw back again with another video. And currently, Georgia voters, a group of Georgia voters can finally proceed with the legal efforts seeking to disqualify U.S. Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene from running for re-election to Congress, citing her role in the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. The challenge filed last month with the Georgia Secretary of State's office alleges that Green, a Republican, helped facilitate the January 6, 2021 riot that disrupted Congress from certifying Joe Biden's presidential election victory. That violates a rarely cited provision of the 14th Amendment and makes her ineligible to run for re-election, according to the challenge. Now, everyone knows about the January 5th riots, the January 6th riots, excuse me, and the carnage, the unfortunate deaths that took place, the absolute violation of order and legalities taking place that day. We all understand that that was 100% wrong. It was 100% wrong for those people to storm that Capitol over election results that they did not like. Even the left, as much as they cried, as much as they complained, Donald J. Trump is now President of the United States. President Obama is the ex-president. Mr. Trump, for the moment, steps away from the inaugural address. What a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever any... As much as they screamed and acted like utmost buffoons when Trump won, they did not storm the Capitol. There is absolutely zero excuse for this kind of behavior. But that's not the question here now, is it? The question is, is Marjorie Taylor Greene actually guilty of inciting or participating in an insurrection? Now, the reality of the situation is Marjorie Taylor Greene did not literally tell people to assault the Capitol building. Marjorie Taylor Greene did not participate in the act of assaulting the Capitol building. Now, what Marjorie Taylor Greene did do was insinuate or outright say that the election was in fact stolen. Now, is it wrong for an American to believe that an election was stolen? That's up to personal opinion. However you feel, you know, some might say that's outright wrong. You should always respect the results of an election. Others might say, hey, it's my First Amendment right to say whatever it is I please. If I believe that the election was stolen, it is my right to say so. And these people aren't necessarily arguing that it's not her right to say so. But what they are arguing is, is it's, she, it's time for her to go. It's time for her to get out of Congress because her words apparently incited and ignited the Capitol riots that took the lives of Americans that day, took the life of a woman, Ashley Babbitt, who chose to climb through a window and was shot through the neck. A man who unfortunately tased himself and lost his life. A woman who was trampled. A police officer who had a heart attack. We have to understand that as horrible and as disgusting as that event was, did Marjorie Taylor Greene actively participate in making it a reality? What we have to understand here is Marjorie Taylor Greene is not the target that they should be coming after. People like Charlie Kirk, who literally came out and said that they he actually bussed people to the location. People like Clarence Thomas's wife, who also admits to literally bussing people to the Capitol building. Why is Marjorie Taylor Greene the bigger target? Marjorie Taylor Greene is obviously the bigger target because Marjorie Taylor Greene is in Congress. And these people want to remove as many political opponents as they possibly can. Actual guilt be damned. That is why I have a problem with this. Is because we're shifting the focus from people who are legitimately guilty. Charlie Kirk literally comes out on the internet and tweets that he is proud to have bust all these patriots to fight for our great president. 
as if that's somehow an accomplishment in the wake of the destruction that followed. Of course, he deleted the tweet, but it's forever there. Everyone screenshotted it. The internet never forgets. And yet here we are watching Marjorie Taylor Greene possibly going to be booted from Congress over words, not actions. And for me, I personally can't stand by that. I'm not even a Marjorie Taylor Greene supporter. I'm not big on the GOP. I'm neither left nor right. But for me, I can't sit there and genuinely say that it's okay for her to just not be allowed to rerun for office because she said the election was stolen. That's not a good enough reason. We have people who genuinely need to go to jail. If Marjorie Taylor Greene had actually participated in that riot to the capacity of which they're acting as though she did, she shouldn't be just removed from Congress. She should be in jail. If Marjorie Taylor Greene had bust those proud patriots going to fight for their president, if Marjorie Taylor Greene had actually done that, then I would sit there and say, you know what? Not only should she not be allowed to ever rerun for Congress, she needs to go to jail for facilitating an event that killed people, an actual insurrection, an attempt at a coup waged by private citizens. But she didn't do that, now did she? And we got prime suspect Charlie Kirk. No one's, no one's doing anything to him at all. Completely untouched in every way possible. Untouched. But they want you to be more upset at their political opposition instead of someone who actively bust insurrectionists to the Capitol. Do you guys not understand? Do you not see it? Now, me personally, I find it extremely disgusting that the Democrats would push so hard to get rid of Marjorie Taylor Greene because people lost their lives. And yet the people who actually participated in facilitating the event, the people who actually moved these individuals from all the states that they were at, all to the Capitol in these buses, you have not taken any legal action against them. Charlie Kirk still walks around like he's done nothing wrong. I'm starting to wonder if he's a snitch. I'm starting to wonder if he's cooperating with the police. There's only one of two explanations here. Either Charlie Kirk and everyone else involved in this knew what was gonna happen, and it's just something that the government was aware of and decided to basically use against you know its opponents we're just going to sit there and allow these people to just sit in this room and allow these crazy people to raid the capitol building and damn near kill them either these people knew exactly what was going to happen beforehand or charlie kirk is a snitch there's no other there's no other either it was an inside job put on your put on your 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 tinfoil hats here either it was an inside job which what are the odds of that right or Charlie Kirk is cooperating with the feds and providing that the necessary amount of evidence to put away other participants in the riots. Either way, it's not a good look. It's not a good look for the Democrats to be more concerned with political intrigue and getting people out of the way than it is to actually avenge the lost lives of the riots. It's absolutely disgusting. I believe Marjorie Taylor Greene should be allowed to rerun. If she wants to run for Congress again, let her. She hasn't done anything to the extent that I would consider actual, actual active participants in the Capitol riots. Saying the election was stolen does not make you an active participant, nor does it make you an insurrectionist. It does not. It absolutely does not. That is simply an observance, an opinion, a point of view, but it is not an actual action. And it shouldn't be treated as such for the sake of political intrigue. It shouldn't be treated as such for the sake of moving a political opponent out of the way when we have people who have literally admitted to their guilt on the internet, on Twitter, still walking free. But because Charlie Kirk isn't an elected official, you don't care. <sighs> this is unfortunate, but I firmly believe Marjorie Taylor Greene should be allowed to keep her seat. She should be allowed to rerun for that seat again. I'm not the biggest Marjorie Taylor Greene supporter. I like her. I like the energy. I like 
I pretty much I like how I like I like all of the crazies, the Elon Omar's, Marjorie Taylor Greens. I love the crazies. Let them do what they're gonna do. But we have to be honest here about the fact that she did not actively participate, and as a result, these laws insinuating that she participated in some sort of insurrection. It's not accurate. These were laws created to stop Civil War congressmen, congressmen who joined the Confederacy. It was created to keep them out of Congress. It was created to keep them from basically becoming elected officials and legislators in a nation that they just tried to destroy. Marjorie Taylor Greene did not actively participate in an insurrection. That's the difference between her and a Confederate congressman. We have to be honest and objective here. We have to be honest and objective. That's all I'm saying.